What up, though? And what's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. So we're about to get into these reasons, y'all, and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. If you find that some resonates, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. And I am running a special on my readings as well, okay? So we're going to start off, you guys, with some messages through music. So let's see what messages through music Spirit has. Okay, we got Maya moving on, okay? So, Scorpio, there can be a situation that you're moving on from. This can be work-related. These could be maybe you moving on from fake family members and friends. You can be moving on from a past lover. But there is something in your life, I feel like, that you coast out of cycle. And it's like you're able to release whatever that was. And now you're able to move forward. But you're able to move forward with your head, your head held hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not moving forward, you know, regretful or feeling bad or anything. Like, you're moving forward excited about, you know what I'm saying, what the future has to bring, okay? I saw this card as I was shuffling. We got juvenile, okay? I'm going to let y'all read that. So, in this song, y'all remember when I first channeled this song, I was in the shower, and I was like, I kept hearing the, the sound. I was like, what is this song? So, some of you may want a Lexus, you may want a Bentley, some of you are going to be on the big TV screen, like people are going to be watching you either perform or whatever that you do, you're going to be on some type of be screen, but you're about to have money here, okay? And we also got a Leah. Age ain't nothing but a number, okay? So there can be an age difference between you and someone, but this age difference ain't like no two, three years. You know, for some of y'all, I'm getting up to 10 plus years, like 10, 15, 20 is what I saw. But you know, in this song, and age ain't really nothing but a number. You know, people make a, a, a big deal out of age and stuff sometimes. And you know, now some of them, I don't know. You know, I ain't here to judge, but I feel like for some of you, your situation is a little bit different than most because there's an age difference, okay? So you can be a woman dealing with a younger man, or you can be a male dealing with a younger woman. But, you know, maybe you're worried about what people going to say, you know what I'm saying, or how people going to feel about this relationship. You know, once you guys are able to you know, step out and let people know y'all together or whatnot, you know, but shit, if they age ain't nothing but a number, so don't let that age gap fool, you know what I'm saying, if it's meant to be a spirit, put you with somebody that, that you got a 10, 15 year gap with, hey, age ain't nothing but a number, that means you're going to keep them young or they going to keep your ass young, okay, so let's get into it, y'all, let's pull some messages and see what it is that spirit wants you to know, if anything is resonating with you, don't forget to like this video, okay, I'm going to take this. These just jumped out of my hand. All right, so we have the way I have treated you was wrong. Please don't put up with this behavior here, okay? So someone here treated you wrong in the past, okay? And I feel like for some of you, you still kind of put up with the same behavior, you know, or, or this is like a cycle that you went through with someone, you know? But this person saying, don't put up with my bullshit because you deserve better than that, okay? Life is too short to stress about love. Okay, now. So some of you, maybe your love life is a big concern for you, you know, and, and it's like because you don't have anybody or you could be a certain age, you know. This could be why we got age ain't nothing but a number two. Okay, some of you, maybe you're a certain age. So you could be over 50 or in your 60. I know I have a lot of older men and women that watch me as well. I feel like older women. But, you know, I feel like for some of you, because you haven't met that person or found that person that you want, you know, it's like you really focus on love. You know, you may see your family members, you may see people around you that celebrating and having love and in a relationship and you kind of by yourself, you know, but spirit is saying life too short to be stressed about love. You know what I'm saying? Or some of you could be in a relationship and it's like you stressed out about your partner or whatever. And it's like, man, life too short. We're trying to get this money. I'm not going to be stressing about no man. Okay. There's plenty of fishes in the sea. I'm trying to get this money. So I feel like some of you, if your 
stressed out about love, fuck love, get money, okay? They say fuck niggas get money, okay? You mean more to me than you think. So I feel like someone here or a situation that you could have closed out a cycle on or you moving on from, like you actually mean more to this person than what you think or what you know. But hell, if don't nobody tell you how the hell we supposed to know, okay? So this is giving me the energy of someone who hasn't let you know how they feel, you know? They may show you, but actions... Actually speak louder than words, but I don't know about y'all. I want I need to hear it too, you know? So I feel like someone here hasn't really expressed to you how they truly feel here. All right, let's get a couple of more. A Scorpio, there can be someone in your energy that's stressed out about love and their relationship and their marriage and, you know, whatever it is they got going on. Y'all take it how it resonates. My feelings don't make sense to me. So either you, Scorpio, are trying to make sense of these feelings that you're having about someone or someone's trying to make sense of these feelings they have about you, okay? You may not understand why you feel this way. They don't understand. But it's like, it's a little bit of confusion is what I'm getting. Because it doesn't make sense. So someone here is confused about their feelings. I know I did you wrong. You don't deserve this. Y'all can't make this up. Whoever this is, they know they did you wrong. They know that you don't deserve what they did to you. But I'm damn sure picking up the energy of somebody still won't you. You know, they know that you didn't deserve it. They know that, you know, they were wrong. But shit, they don't stop them from wanting you guys here, okay? <clears throat> Let's pull a couple more. Messages for my Scorpios. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? What do they need to know today? I love you, Scorpio. Damn, I keep bending my little cards up. Messages for Scorpio. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, what is it that they need to know? Scorpios, I'm about to make you real rich. I don't know what y'all got going on, but I'm about to make you real rich, okay? Oh, so someone, Scorpio, was projecting, okay? So whoever this person was, they treated you a certain way, or you could have had uh, you could have accepted some type of behavior for someone in the past. Okay, I feel like some of you guys, you were mirroring this person, okay? You and this person was mirroring each other, okay? They projected onto you how they felt and vice versa. Or I feel like you reflected, like, it, it was a mirroring image. Like, for some of you on your twin flame journey, it's like you and your twin mirror each other, okay? When you stand in the mirror and you reflect on each other, it's like you reflect parts of them that they need to work on and they reflect parts of you that you need to work on, okay? And that's why we have those experiences. That's why they should be upped up. Nobody really want to talk about what they experience, what they plan. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to forget it, but I feel like part of my journey is to be able to communicate that you communicate with that shit. Communicate that with you guys. I know this full moon, all this shit fucked up, but I feel like you and someone have been doing a lot of mirroring on this journey, okay? But this person, when they were treating you and you know, talking to you and whatever they were doing, they were projecting their insecurities, their hurts, their traumas onto you. Now this person wants to take action towards you, okay? Now this person got some type of strength. Now they got some type of courage because they want to have this new beginning. Or this is something they realize and shit they got to have. You can't be scared of fucking with Scorpio. You better have some type of strength. You better be able to stand on business when you say some shit you mean and shit. Don't be telling us some shit we want to hear because we're going to be able to see that shit a mile away, okay? Now, I feel like in the present, I feel like some of you are about to receive some abundance here. Like in this present energy that's going on right now, you're about to receive some type of abundance. If you already have, spirit is needing you to practice gratitude. If you're waiting to receive some type of abundance, start practicing gratitude. Be thankful for every little thing. Be thankful that you got a towel. You, you, got, you know what I'm saying? Be, be thankful you got a roof over your head. Be thankful you got a, a car to drive. It may not be the car that you want, but you can get from point A to point B. Like You have to start being thankful for all the little things that you have in your life. Even if it's not the things that you want, you still got to show gratitude for everything. Because I feel like it's been a long journey here. It's been a long road for a lot of you guys, okay? This could be a masculine energy as well, okay? Some of my masculines have experienced a long road, okay? Maybe you like to see it. What is this? Is they by a beach? Maybe you like to watch the sunrise. Okay, but I feel like you just, or some of you, that's what you're doing now. You're practicing being more grateful you know you you understand that you know you got to be patient things gonna take time ain't nothing gonna happen when you 
wanting to happen. But I feel like this current energy, like you feel it some type of abundance. Like you don't know exactly what's going on or what's coming towards you, but you feel something. Look, I feel it in my ear. My ear just got the doing some type of high pitched noise over here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Yeah, something here is causing a transformation. This came out before. This Pluto energy, and I can't remember when Pluto went stationary. I know that I can't remember none of the information right now, but it's really causing a big transformation for some of you guys. Okay, this could be transforming you, or this could be transforming your connection with someone or both of you guys. But this Pluto energy is really causing a massive transformation here. And I feel like it can be in this connection. Let's get one more, and then we're going to pull up on my uh, J Lo. Mm. For some of you guys, it's also causing a transformation within a third party situation. Okay, this could be someone who's legally bounded to someone. For some of you, you can feel very restricted in your career and your relationships. Someone here can feel restricted in relationships. Okay, Saturn has to do like with, with boundaries and restrictions. But we got into debt tear us apart. Okay, so this is giving me the energy of somebody who married. And somebody saying, until we broke, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that's going to separate or make this third party leave your person is if they wrote. Like someone here is giving me the energy of wanting some type of financial security. Or they're only with someone because of what they can provide for them. You know what I'm saying? They like, shit, the only way I'm leaving is shit if you ain't got shit. And, and this person, even if they leave, they're taking everything with them, Okay. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. All right, messages for Scorpio. Happy 420, y'all. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, what do they need to know? I know everybody may not be familiar with 420, and you know, it ain't a big deal. It's just for the smokers. This is just the day we can just have for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We do it every day anyway, but we got a day now designated just for us, okay? All right, so let's pull a couple of messages from this J.D. Love. Let's let's dig a little deeper in this situation and see what's going on. Okay, so someone here projected a lot. However, they treated you, Scorpio. This is really how they felt about themselves, okay? If they made you feel like you weren't shit, Scorpio, they didn't feel like they were shit themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, keeping it real with you. All right? Ooh, damn. Okay. I don't know. I'm supposed to take this one of these. All right, we got unfaithful. Someone here could have been projecting onto you because they were in a relationship or something where there was a lot of cheating going on, okay? Or someone here could be being unfaithful because we got moving on, okay? There could be a situation where there's a lot of cheating here, okay? And someone got to move on from this situation. We got to feel your positive energy. So some of you could be sending, sending your person, like you could be praying for them or, you know, trying to send them positive energy to help them during this time. When you were dealing with this person, they had an unhealed heart, okay? Or someone around you has an unhealed heart. This means this is someone who has not healed from any pain, any hurt, any trauma, anything that they, they've experienced in their life, okay? And when you deal with someone who has not healed, this is why they project. This is what this person's going to do. They're going to project everything that they have not healed from. If someone here hasn't healed from you know, trust issues or abandonment issues or cheating, you know, whatever it is, this person's going to project all that on you, okay? On to you. Ooh, then we got the truth will be revealed. So for some of you, there's some type of truth here that's about to be revealed here. And it could have to do about this third party of someone here who has an unhealed heart. We got fire energy, so I feel like some of you can be in your queen of wands, energy, male or female. That means right now you're very spontaneous. See, in the past, you could have been very calculated. You know, you want to take your time. You weren't really into taking risks, but it's like right now, it's like you, it's kind of like this eerie season is still around. You know, you still will take a risk, okay? I feel like things or people are, are inspiring you. You're very intuitive, but you're also very passionate about whatever it is that you do, okay? However it is, you get your money or whatever it is that you do. You know, you're very passionate about this, okay? And I feel like there is a lot of excitement 
around you. And some of you could be doing something very impulsive. This means maybe you won't, you just make a decision and be like, you know what, I think I'm just going to do this today. Or I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're in that energy to where you don't want to plan. I don't know about y'all. I'm a planner. You know what I'm saying? I, I plan every day and thing I can, but you know, sometimes it's okay to be spontaneous and be impulsive and just do things out the blue without making a plan for it. Okay. All right, you guys, that's all I have. Let's, let's roll and see who this reading is about. We got Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Aries. Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Aquarius. We also have Heavy Gemini and Heavy Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.